I have heard a lot of people ask me this question, and I've looked into it extensively. So let's ask ourselves, are we Christo Pagans? Hello, my name is Charlie and welcome back to my channel. I am a non-binary sci-fi fantasy writer and I have practiced creation spirituality for over 20 years. Is that a form of Christopaganism? Well, according to the books that I was recommended on this topic, I guess, sure, fine. All of the books that I have read on this subject, as well as the videos and blog posts that were recommended to me, use the definition for Christopaganism that it is a syncretism of Christianity and Earth-based religious movements. That's a very broad statement, and as such, it is something that I cannot debate. So under that definition, yeah, I guess I am. But does it matter? Is it a valuable label? Let's start with why this actually fits. Creation spirituality is very much about learning to see the cosmic Christ in all things, in reality, in the world around us, and having that cosmic hospitality towards our world, having a very ecological view of life and the world. I have a special devotion to Notre Dame Souterre, uh, Our Lady Under the Earth, and it, she is one of the Black Madonnas that I very often pray to. I actually have a statue of her on my altar right over there. So yeah, honoring the Earth is very important to me. I also practice the new moons, the equinoxes, the solstices. Sure. Sure. Fine. This is a thing that can be applied. The bigger question is, is it a useful label? Now one, I see a lot of backlash from the pagan community about the term Christopagan, and I get it. it, it to me, it, it's along the lines of Judeo-Christian as far as kind of an oxymoronical phrase, since the institutional Christian church has, throughout its history, been terrible to pagans and Jews, like murdering them in large quantities and forcing conversions and whatnot. So I understand there being tension and animosity, and I do not wish to trigger or upset anyone for those reasons. But that doesn't get to the answer to the real question. Is Christopagan a valuable term for us to be using? Yes, with a question mark, a really big question mark. You see, I think that we have to find some way to define ourselves. And I have had this weird badge of honor over the last decade or so, where when people find out that I pray to Jesus and Mary, they get very confused because I didn't know you were a Christian. And while to some people that might sound like an insult, when I push back on why I hear that, it's because I'm not judging them for their life choices. I'm not engaging in some of the rhetorical flaws that have crept in through evangelicalism, Calvinism, Lutheranism, and well, any of the pietistic movements that have hit Catholicism or Protestantism over the years. I don't give in to that. So, they see my lack of judgmentalism as a lack of my Christianity. And that's sad. That's really sad that the faith that I belong to and that I practice has fallen so far from what it's meant to be with, the, you know, judge not lest you be judged and uh, all that, that people expect you to be a judgy monster if you take the name Christian upon you. Christopagan also works for me because I am called by a lot of my friends pagan because I don't practice the same forms of, I don't want to say orthodox, I feel like I'm a very orthodox Christian and that's a thing that we can talk about at length on the channel if you have questions about that, but I do not practice the forms of evangelical Christianity that is so popular in the region that I live in and as such I'm often seen as having some heathenism or paganism as part of who I am. So, if I'm going to be called it by people that mean it as an insult, well, the queer person in me wants to just pick that up and take it as a badge of honor. I also feel that it is, uh, under the definitions that I keep reading, that it is a syncretism between Christianity and various Earth-based religions. 
appropriate to explaining the path that I walk and the path that I'm on. I think that it will be off-putting to some people, and for that reason, I am concerned about using it, but I don't self-identify as a Christopagan in the way that it doesn't fit me. Like, when I think about myself, I am a practitioner of creation spirituality. That's what I do. That's who I am. But again, the definition does fit. So if you want to consider me a Christopagan, that's fine. It is technically true. But again, I mean, no offense towards any of the pagans, neo-pagans, and Wiccans out there who may take offense at that term. I would, for example, never call myself a witch. I am not a witch. I do not practice witchcraft. I do work. I do experimenta. I do rituals. I do prayers. I draw circles. Those are part of my practice, and they are not witchy in that sense. Now, I'm sure some people will consider me a witch, so whatever. I don't know if this video is helpful or not, but I get the comments so often that I, I felt that I needed to address it. And, you know, if, if it is something that you identify strongly with, then by all means do so. I, I do have days where I'm just like, yes, Christo Pagan. Like, especially since I've been reading about it, of The Way of the Christian Witch was an oddly affirming book for me. It felt almost like reading an autobiography. I saw myself a lot in story, but it's not a way I've ever really thought of myself. Who knows? Now that I've been exposed to the term and have started really thinking about it, it may be something that I do start self-identifying as more and more and more. But it is something that I do feel the work that I do relates to. So if you are a Christopagan, if you are a Christian witch, or if you're just somebody who wants to better understand creation spirituality, hopefully what I'm doing here will help you out. Thank you for listening. I hope that that was helpful in some way, shape, or form, or at least insightful. I don't know. Really don't know anymore. Anyway, until next time, may the light of God shine upon you, and the Shekinah always surround you in her wings to guide and guard you all the days of your life. Bye.